chismosas after all the drama with Angela Aguilar, Casu, and Nodal. Casu has finally come out to talk about the situation because she's had enough, and this is what she had to say. Olis, es muy agobiante ser noticia en todos lados por algo como esto. Yo siempre traté de evitar este lado de la exposición mediática tan despiadada y hoy vivirlo en esta gran dimensión sin haber hecho nada para tener tanta atención y para que mi nombre ruede por todos los lados es una pena inmensa. Pero me responsabilizo por mis elecciones y también de lo que tengo control. Por eso les regalo estas palabras. Me siento la necesidad de hacerles saber que estoy bien, atravesando de la mejor manera posible. Elijo alejarme un poco de redes para desintoxicarme y concentrarme en mi bebé, que es mi prioridad, y en mi trabajo mientras todo se calma allá afuera. La vida no es totalmente bella o totalmente horrible, ni la gente es por completo buena o mala en un 100%. Siempre hay grises y matices, pero lo importante es respirar y resistir con amor los procesos necesarios y aprender. Gracias por la preocupación de tantos y tantas. Now before we get into everything, I know there's a lot of you chismosas out there that like a translation, so let's get into that. It's very exhausting to be in news everywhere for something like this. I always try to avoid this side of the media exposure so ruthless and today to live it in this great dimension without having done anything to get so much attention and for my name to circulate everywhere, it's an enormous shame. But I am responsible for my choices and also what I have no control over. That's why I give you these words. I feel the need to let you guys know I'm all right, pushing through the best way possible. I choose to step away from social media for a bit to detox and focus on my baby who is my priority and my work while everything comes down out there. Life is not totally beautiful or totally horrible, nor are people completely good or bad at 100%. There are always grays and nuances, but the important thing is to breathe and resist with love and the necessary processes and learn. Thank you for the concern of so many. Now that's not all because she also posted this following message that says, Ahora pasemos la página, vivamos y dejemos vivir. Which if you need a translation means, let's turn the page and let's live and let live. Then to deliver the final blow to Nodal, she posted this picture of her and her daughter Inti. Now, as you guys may have thought, I have a lot of opinions on the subject, obviously, but one thing that really stood out to me was one of the parts in her statement where she said this. Me responsabilizo por mis elecciones y también de lo que no tengo control. And if you guys don't get this one, why I feel this way, it's because basically she's out here saying like, well, I knew what I was getting into. I take responsibility for my actions or for choosing Nodal, but there's other things out there that I don't have in my control, so I'm just going to let that go. And if you guys know the rumors, allegedly Nodal went and broke up with Casu because he wanted to be with Angel Aguilar. So that's the side that she can't control. And the things that she can't control was having a baby with him to be begin with. Now every baby is a blessing so I'm sure she's not having regrets about that part but she's definitely having regrets about the man she had the baby with. Now, if you guys don't know, Casu is a Sagittarius so if you really think about it, her saying anything at all about the subject must mean that she's had it up to here, you know, because Sagittarius usually they keep to themselves and they don't really make a fuss about their lives like this. But anyways guys, I'm very curious to know what you guys thought about the statement. Obviously very classy but I need your opinions so let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to like and follow for more gossip cheese man and all things see.